Hey guys, Jess here. You're watching TACOM, and this is Gears Feed. This week started out with quite a scare. This tweet was sent out by the official Gears account on Tuesday. Luckily, it wasn't legit, and we're still not sure what happened, but it seems that someone got temporary access to the account. Shortly after the tweet was pulled down, it had been confirmed to be false, so nothing to worry about. Wednesday gave us two pieces of information, both of which I'm pretty excited for. First off, it appears that some progression-based unlocks may be on the way. We don't really have much confirmation yet, but this forum post by Octus appears to imply this. Progress-based unlocks have been one of the most requested things from the community since launch, so I'm really excited to see what we're going to get. The other news from Wednesday is that we should be getting a Rodcast soon. Rod's going to be in Vegas, and it seems that we'll be getting a long overdue Rodcast. As always, Chaps has set up a thread on the forums to collect questions, and if you have a question to ask Rod, be sure to go check it out and leave it there. Speaking of Vegas, the prize pool has officially been increased to $300,000. This is the largest event to date, and I really can't wait to be there. As a quick reminder for those of you going after the Emerald Weapon skins, the current task is playing two Escalation matches for the Enforcer and Torque Bow. Another skin made available is the Maria Nasher. This is a community designed skin by Essence, and if you signed in on Friday, you should see it in your inventory as your daily reward. Another nice update we've gotten is on the map rotations. As you may recall, there have been quite a few complaints about how many maps and which maps were included. Well, the Coalition has heard our cries, and a fix for it has already been implemented. Some fan favorites like Checkout and Clock Tower have been added, while others like Forge have been removed. This is just their start in their plan to have a more enjoyable map rotation in the future. As a side note, they also specified that the map rotation is here to stay, at least for now, so sorry for those expecting all maps in rotation. This might not be the best solution, but it is a nice compromise. Also as part of this update, we got a slight change to competitive warm-up. Arms Race has been removed, so we have Dodgeball and King of the Hill. Octus says that a new mode might be added in the future, but for right now, it's just those two. In event news, this month's special event is now live. We have Nash's only King of the Hill, and as an added bonus, it's using competitive weapon tuning. This event is pretty fun, and it's one of my favorites. It also looks like we're going to have a brand new event sometime in a future update. According to this tweet by Octus, there's an event that they've been testing for quite some time, and it should be a ton of fun. Can't wait to see what it is. And that's going to do it for the news this week. As a quick reminder, we'll be out next week, so there won't be a Gears Feed episode. Instead, we'll be at the Vegas event watching some great matches. And don't forget that June is approaching quickly, so when we return in two weeks, I imagine that we'll have quite a bit of news to share. As always, if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to drop it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the news each week. Once again, this has been an episode of Gears Feed on TACOM, and until next time, thanks for watching.